up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dream Giveaway Garage, and I have that performance SUV that people are talking about still to this day. This is the first time ever 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. But before we get into this supercharged muscle car of an SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Dodge, they've been around for decades, and I think today nobody is doing muscle car better than this brand, this iconic American brand. In a day and age where there's so much focus on hybrids, EVs, and everything in between, Dodge is wanting to keep bringing the business when it comes to horsepower, when it comes to driving fun, and they decided, you know what? They had a Durango SRT. There was a lot of great muscle car performance that came with that. Why not take it to another level? So for one year only, 2021, they added the Hellcat name, but not only just the name, they added that supercharged V8 underneath the hood. But what I want to do with this review is I want to find out, is this the best performance SUV you should be buying, especially if you're going to compare it to another performance SUV that's part of the Mopar brand. You know which one I'm talking about. Which one? Tell me. Yeah, you sitting back there. Put down that can of Coke. Stop drinking your soda in class. Yes, you're correct. The Jeep Trackhawk with that V8 supercharged goodness. And also, I want to show you some of the modifications that have been done to this one and see if they are the right mods that you would want to do to your Durango Hellcat. So let's go ahead. Let's get those two questions answered with our 2021 Durango Hellcat. Right off the bat, the style. The black with the red racing stripes, very menacing as a muscle car SUV should be. Now for 2021, all Durangos have some revisions done and it all starts with the headlight housing. So they did some rework to the headlight housing, the daytime running lamps, all LED, the projector style beam headlight, and everything else really cleaned it up and really made it even look like more muscle car-esque than before. As you drop down, of course, if we're gonna compare this to the Trackhawk, we wanna find out is there a bunch of functionality to all these vents? Yes. Starting in the corner, you're gonna get these massive openings, flat black, which I think is super smart rather than gloss black. That's gonna bring nice cool air for all the heat exchangers, including an engine oil cooler that obviously every Durango Hellcat is gonna have. Now this one, they went ahead and added a modification right off the bat. They added this massive APR front lip splitter. Full carbon fiber, this is gonna stop the air from going underneath this SUV because you'd be surprised. This SUV will go fast in a straight line. This thing with all-wheel drive will also handle the twisty bits pretty well. At the front end, you got that nice wide muscle car look to it. They went ahead and changed the badging. They put this Hellcat badge here with the red racing stripes. These are the racing stripes that are optional from the factory. We got our SRT badge. Obviously, that stands for street and racing technology. And that's another thing. These days are numbered for this Durango Hellcat, should you be getting one before they're gone. Because remember, just one year only. But very, very tough. I like the way they reworked the grill. Functional up top, functional down below. You could see the APR racing name down here with the carbon fiber. You got your adjustable strut rods where you could actually adjust the pitch and the angle of the front splitter. And then you have more functionality on the bottom as well. From a look standpoint, I firmly believe beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I love the Durango Hellcat. I actually love the Trackhawk a little bit more. I kind of like the proportions of the Trackhawk from the front and from the side. Remember, Trackhawk is a two row, but we are very, very lucky. We have a rear seat delete, third row delete in this Durango Hellcat to really compare it perfectly with the Trackhawk. But let's continue. Up onto the hood, unique to the Durango, of course, you're gonna have that functional scoop in the center. We have our muscle car bulge, and of course, we're gonna have those massive heat extractors on both sides. We're bringing in cold air, and we're dragging out the hot air because hot air robs, robs us of horsepower. Same thing, when it comes to a hood, I think the hood looks great. Trackhawk just has a little something extra that kind of makes my heart pitter-patter, but let's keep going and see what you think. As we come around the bend, the next modification of the day, besides the badge, besides the splitter, they went ahead and got these 20 inch wheels. It actually mimics the Sidewinder wheel, which is an optional wheel from Dodge for the Challenger and the Charger Hellcats and whatnot. You have the massive six piston Brembo calipers with the SRT badge, not only on the center cap, but also on the calipers themselves. 
and then lurking behind these beautiful wheels, those are 15 and a half inch brake rotors. Two piece rotors, slotted, fully ventilated. We got adaptive dampers, all four corners. Now, obviously Mopar did some specific chassis tuning and suspension tuning that's just for the Durango Hellcat. But if you're looking at brakes and suspension, very, very similar. That braking, uh, the braking components on this uh, particular Durango are specific and connected to the Trackhawk. So there's that direct connection between the two. So you're gonna get the same great braking capability. Another thing they did was changed out the tires. They put these Continental tires, 315 on the width, all four corners. It's like steamrollers going down the road, 30 series sidewall gonna help us get the grip and the stick that we want. Now going into the fender, I'm so glad that Dodge painted the whole fender and the fender opening with the flare, same body color. We have that bright red Hellcat on the side. It's gonna rip your head off if you get too close. Same story, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. You could see the extra length of this Durango. The Cherokee, because it's only a two row, is a little bit more shorter and kind of doesn't have so much overhang at the front and the rear of the vehicle. This does have a specific drive shaft that is different than the Trackhawk because of that longer wheelbase. From the side, I like the body lines in the door and I also like the way they added this Hellcat logo kind of wrap job that they did. Very subtle, but really when you look at it, it kind of makes it stand out from the rest of the performance SUVs. Nice flat roof and then three 15s on the rear as well. So we have those Continental tires, nice sticky tire, gonna get us the traction to the ground. Three 15s, they're like steamrollers, all four corners. Coming around the back, specific to the Durango Hellcat is this roof spoiler. This is tested in the wind tunnel. It actually gives 300% more downforce at speed. And we'll talk more about what is the speed and the performance of this SUV very, very soon. You have your Racing stripes that come down, full LED lighting, the Durango badge, and that four. The four with the Dodge logo, that means we have that all-wheel drive, all blacked out. And then as we drop down, we went ahead, they went ahead and changed out the exhaust. We have those APR custom tips, nice slash cut, nice large opening. They are welded to Flowmaster mufflers, and we still have that massive X-pipe that is unique to the Durango and you have your full tow capability and just this lower portion with those exhausts set it off with the srt badge looking really tough but why don't we go ahead let's pop the hood and see what is underneath it powering this durango hellcat all right guys we got the hood popped you do have a hydraulic hood strut underneath that hood american carcraft went ahead and did some modifications so what you're going to find is this brushed aluminum finish with the carbon fiber and that hellcat logo let me know what you think about this particular modification with the aluminum trim. Underneath that hood, you'll notice more work that has been done. Very good detailed touches that they added to the supercharger. Me personally, I could do without, but I think somebody is gonna be very, very happy to have this in their garage, especially with that carbon fiber back there looking really good. And then when it comes to overall performance, like I said, crazy numbers. 6.2 liter supercharged V8. That's gonna give us 710 horsepower, 640 pound-feet of torque. So technically that is more horsepower than the Jeep Grand Cherokee, that Trackhawk. That one has 707 horsepower. It is mated to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. That's a torque flight transmission. Zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Quarter mile goes by in 12 seconds flat at 115 miles an hour, MPGs, if you're really concerned about that, you're probably not gonna to wanna to hear this, but 11 MPGs in the city, 17 on the highway. The Durango weighs in around 5,334 pounds, but the great news is you could tow up to 8,700 pounds. Nice to have that muscle car performance. Interesting to see what's gonna to happen to the Durango Hellcat, but why don't we go ahead, we got some modified exhaust on this Durango Hellcat. Let's fire it up and hear what it sounds like.
guys. We're inside this 2021. Dodge is saying it's one year only Durango Hellcat. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, that's one bad mamma jamma of an SUV. I want one. How much is it? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, and it's got all the Mopar options you could think of, is right around $90,000. The great news is this is a dream giveaway garage giveaway. So you could actually win this and the Charger Hellcat Red Eye that we already featured on the channel. I'll leave that link at the end of this review. But if you want to try to win it, click the link in the description. Get yourself to Dream Giveaway Garage's website. If you spend $25 or more, use the Radies Rides promo code. That will get you double tickets. And just so you know, I am not paid to say that and I am not compensated in any way, shape, or form. Dream Giveaway Garage just wants to show some extra love to the Radies Rides fans since they know that you love these vehicles. But let's see what you're gonna get if you win this Durango Hellcat to the door panel. Love the materials. You're gonna get that premium interior from Dodge. Everything's smooth. You got the fused carbon fiber, which is new for 2021. No two pieces are exactly the same. And then as we drop down, you go past the Harman Kardon sound system, you'll notice that great work by American Car Craft where they're doing that wonderful aluminum finish with the SRT bright red and the Hellcat logo there. But going from the door panel to the dash, same story, smooth material, the stitch work, the Alcantara from the factory, that fused carbon fiber. This is really where the Durango Hellcat just destroys the Trackhawk. This interior is way much nicer. You have a 10 inch Uconnect 5 system instead of the Uconnect 4 that's in the Jeep Trackhawk. So if you like larger size, especially when it comes to screens, you're gonna like this screen a lot better. It's larger, it's faster in operation, and the graphics are more clear. Of course, you got your performance pages. Make all the adjustments that you need. Working your way down, you got your bright red start stop button. Heated seats, ventilated seats, dual climate control, those nice new toggle switches with your launch control, wireless charging, all the connectivity. This is gonna control that ZF eight speed, that torque flight eight speed automatic. There's more of that great work with the carbon fiber and the brushed aluminum. We have the rest red key and it does have SRT badging on there. So we're ready to rock and roll. Nice soft armrest and then the seats. You got that SRT embroidery, the stitching, Alcantara, the demonic red seat belts that's worth an extra five horsepower. And on top of that, you have a standard size sunroof and Alcantara on the headliner. So like I said, from a material standpoint, this definitely beats the Trackhawk. But why don't you come over here to the business end, I wanna show you where you're gonna be doing the business behind the wheel. Come on over. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. We got the supercharged logo, nicely lit up with the aluminum sill plate. Love that style, attention to detail. Tons of room, and that's where the Durango's also gonna win. Not only the materials from the factory, but also the amount of room. Steering wheel, looking great, except for this part right here. I zonk them every time on these Mopar products. Plastic, not digging it. This should have that fused carbon fiber. Small little baby paddles on the back of the steering wheel. These need to be larger. You do have electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then the dash, I do like how clean it is. It's, it's, it's very easy to read at a glance. You got your tack nice and large in the center there. Everything else analog, very similar to the Trackhawk. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the back seat and see who comes out on top the Trackhawk or the Hellcat. Let's find out. All right, guys, technically this would be the mid row, but guess what? Like I said, we have a third row delete with this Durango. It, it beats the Trackhawk. Your passengers in the back are gonna be much happier than in the Trackhawk. There's just more room, seats sl slide, they recline, and then you got tons of technology like these two monitors on the backs of the TVs for you to be able to watch whatever you want, but who the hell would wanna watch anything I would be enjoying that supercharger wine and hauling butt down the road right with you as you're driving us. And then connectivity, they got you covered. Rear AC, heated seats, USBs, and a home power source. I guess the one zonk at $90,000, I want ventilated seats. It's gonna get a little hot. As we're going down the quarter mile, I would like to cool off a little bit with some ventilated seats, but why don't we go ahead, let's see how much room that we have now that we don't have a third row in the Durango. Right, guys, time to get into the back portion, the cargo section. And like I said, this is my first Durango Hellcat. 
I've ever seen that has the rear seat delete and it's a nice way to do this option. So you can see no seat belts, nothing. Gives you extra width. You have your little cubby over there for a box of Twinkies, those drag strip Twinkies. And this really is the perfect drag strip or racetrack vehicle because you could fill up this whole thing with everything that you need, take it out, run it down the track, run it around the racetrack, put everything back and take it home and be comfortable in that wonderful interior up there. Let me show you what's awesome about this though. You pull up these panels, because we have a rear seat delete, you have tons of cargo room for your snacks. So if you wanna hide the snacks, this is the way to do it. If you have somebody saying, hey, shouldn't be eating this, shouldn't be eating that, put it all in there, seal it up. Don't even tell them anything's there. Just tell them it's flat floor and you'll be good to go. But you know what? Speaking of getting good and going, if you're ready, I'm ready. We got the red key. Let's go on throttle in our two row Durango Hellcat. All right, guys, we love Dream Giveaway Garage. The bad news is some raindrops are coming down. Typical Florida summer weather. But the good news is we have all wheel drive and we're not going to let a few raindrops upset our on throttle action. But loving those bright red racing stripes. Here we go. On throttle. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Now, this is where both the Durango Hellcat and the Trackhawk Hellcat are just going to destroy your Challenger and Charger Hellcats because that all wheel drive, you get that instant grip. And with this particular one having 315s, all four corners, that's a lot of Gorilla Glue that we're laying down to launch us from a dead stop, even with it being a little bit wet with some sprinkles and whatnot. But interior wise, you're not gonna be disappointed going the Durango Hellcat route over the Trackhawk because it is that much better. But uh, you know what my favorite part is, right? Obviously we have it in track mode, automatic setup on the transmission. Oh, right, here we go, yeah, woo! Here we go, yeah! Golly, that freaking exhaust with the Flowmasters and those beautiful APR tips, the sound, you don't even need a Harman Kardon anything. You don't even need a Harman Kardon freaking pair of earbuds because the sound from this Durango Hellcat is the best music any car enthusiast could ever ask for. Ever. Ever. And if if it's not music to your ears, you may not be a car person. I may just have to take your car, your car person enthusiast card away from you if you don't think that the sound is just so beautiful in this Durango Hellcat. Transmission shifts great, good steering feel. You got the adaptive dampers, all four corners. They've done some great chassis work with this vehicle. But let's go ahead, we need to come, I'm gonna see about coming to a stop here. Let this car pass me. He's probably wondering what the heck is going on. But uh, launch control engaged. On throttle, here we go, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Look at this. Just rockets off one after another after another. Absolutely unbelievable with the way that this thing gets the power to the ground. Absolutely crazy. Coming out of the turn. On throttle, here we go, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this thing. I love the Mopar guys and girls that work for Dodge and Jeep and all the rest because they are true car people. They are all about that muscle car experience and they are bringing it big time in this Durango Hellcat. All right, this time guys, I'm gonna shift with the paddles. You got a small gear indicator. I would like that to be a little bit larger. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, here we go. Golly. <laughs> Jeez Louise, the sound. God, the shifts. Down shifts, nice and smooth. Look at this. Un 
freaking believable. I'm freaking believable. Nice downshift, super smooth, super crisp. The sound is intoxicating. I feel like I'm getting drunk on the sound right now. Look at that, just rockets one by one by one. All through that torque flight eight speed and I'm not even worried about losing traction because I got four steamrollers, they're sticky as heck and I got the power going to all four corners. when you get off throttle and just the sound it just resonates makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up I freaking love that and the other great news is the connection with Leah Pruitt and Big Daddy Don Garlitz with this giveaway that's another freaking amazing opportunity right there in that connection here we go God it revs so fast you hit that 6,000 RPM red line like that. Absolutely lightning quick. Good steering, nicely balanced. Even though this thing, the center of gravity is up way high, it handles really, really well. And that's another thing that I love about this Hellcat. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna put it back into automatic mode. Let that torque fly do the business. Audra, right, here we go. 710 horsepower. 710 horsepower. And you're able to use it all. Unfreaking believable. But we're going to have to get back to Dream Giveaway Garage. They want their Durango Hellcat back. I'm sure they do. I know they do, but we're going to wrap this one up, so I'll see you where it all started. I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Dream Giveaway Garage. I definitely got to thank Lori, Ryan, Boomer, Chris, the whole crew getting us access to their 2021 Durango Hellcat. Is it the one to get over the Trackhawk? I want to know what you think. Put that in the comment section. I know which way I would go but I'm curious to see what you guys would say. Also, let me know what you think about the modifications if this is the direction that you would go in with your Durango Hellcat. But if you wanna keep seeing performance SUVs here on Rady's Rise, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rady's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the first link in the description, become a Radies Rise Patreon member, click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to the mad muscle behind the camera. Lori working that camera like a champ, getting this Durango Hellcat for you. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.